if I started trying to give back to Indiana University what it has given to me over all these years and from the time I've been here, I, I could never give back enough. I love this place. I get an email from John Vickers, the director of the Indiana University Cinema, and he's like, do you want to co-host a Q&A with Jonathan Banks with me? I love Jonathan Banks, and this is an incredible opportunity, so of course I'm going to do it, you know? I think it's important that a lot of these young people immediately realize that they are artists as well. It's not some vague term that you must do this or that to achieve that. They're artists. When a guest comes, like Jonathan Banks, where they're very special and very smart and they give all this great advice, and on top of all of that, they're an IU alum, that just makes the experience even more special. Because not only can you talk film, you can talk mother bears, you can talk Showalter Fountain. I mean, this place, I've said it before, but this place, it not only gave me my career, it gave me a life. I was, I know it's hard to believe, but I was pretty rough around the edges. And I came here and I saw this place of knowledge and thought. Jonathan Banks, Indiana University salutes you. Throughout your lifetime, you have dedicated yourself to becoming a brilliant and pioneering artist of consummate skill. And you have shared your unparalleled abilities with millions and millions of viewers throughout the world. And so, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of Indiana University, I am proud and privileged to confer upon you with honor the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters with all attendant rights and privileges. Congratulations. He's calm, he's quiet, but he's, he sees the greatness in everyone, which is what makes him special. Of all the awards, of all the nominations, that I will ever have been or will be part of, there is nothing that means more to me than this. Excuse my sentimentality. Love this place. Love this place. <laughs>